Thank you for joining us at the Computing Conference 2017 in London. And with me is Johannes Meyer. He is a scientist at Karlsruhe Institute. Yeah? Yes, and, that's right. And you are an expert on automatic um, inspection formats, right? Right. Can so you tell us about your research? Of course. Thank you for having me here yeah. in the first place. Um, my main research is focused on the automated uh, visual inspection of transparent objects like glasses or windshields, for example. So what's specific about inspection of transparent objects? So first of all, all the usual methods that you know from the inspection from OPEC materials, mm -hmm. you can't directly apply them to transparent objects because they are transparent <laughs> and yes. usually they have no diffuse reflection like you have it for normal objects. So it's in the reflection? Yes. All right. And some challenging defects are, for example, enclosed air bubbles in mm. the material. And they don't reduce the intensity of the light, but they um, scatter it into multiple directions. So ah. it's important to sense the direction of the light. All right. So, so what is your research facing now? What kind of challenges do you face? So when you're currently buying an inspection setup for transparent objects, mm -hmm. there always has to be an expert that specifically designs the system for the object on hand that you want to ex inspect. Mm -hmm. And when you're a producer that produces many different kinds of transparent objects, you have to do the design step all over again. Mm -hmm. And we are trying to build a system that gets rid of the expert and can <laughs> inspect nearly any object. That Automatically. You yes. Yes, I it. can see that. So, so where could we implement, if, if the results are there, implement those systems? So, for example, imagine um, lenses used for cataract operations, mm -hmm. surgeries. Nearly every person will have to undergo it if he or she just lives long enough because your lens True. gets turbid and you yep. have to remove it. Mm -hmm. So the way it's done nowadays is that the surgeon slices it into small pieces and extracts it from your eye, which is not that a pleasant <laughs> thing. <laughs> not but even to think about, yeah. Yeah, that, that a laser could do it for you in under one minute. Mm -hmm. But then you would need a personalized interface between your eye and the laser. And you, of course, want to be it to be completely free from any defects when the laser shoots into your eye through this optical element. Yes, I can see that. And, and, and any other implementations possible? Um, well, also for inspecting windshields of automobiles or mm. aircrafts. Yeah. When you're thinking of an aircraft, you don't want to be uh, that there's any crack inside the windshield that might break it when airborne. Yeah, true. Yeah. And so, so, so if these, these things and these um, uh, systems are implemented, how will the future be like? Yeah, I mean, um, you can be able to assure more quality in your transparent objects mm -hmm. because nowadays there are often humans doing the inspection and it's a very awful task to look through transparent parts into direct light sources all the time. Yeah, true. And so it's prone to overlooking defects, what could have disastrous consequences. And do you think that uh, this research will end there? So you just found the answer and it will be implemented everywhere or is it ongoing? I mean, um, the more technologies we have using transparent parts like cameras, smartphone displays and also stuff true, yeah. with smaller and smaller pixels, the higher the quality requirements will get. And so we will have to find even yeah. smaller defects. Of and course. Yeah, the demand grows when yes. possibilities grow. That's That's these are wise words. So what did you think of the computer conference so far? It was a very nice conference, mm -hmm. in my opinion, with um, many people around the world. Yeah. A very interdisciplinary conference. And my key insight is that um, it's a quite a good thing if it's not too focused on to one topic, because you might have the chance to use ideas from other ah. um, regions of research and to combine it with your own and end up with something even better. Right. Well, that's a beautiful conclusion or learning. Thank you so much, Johannes Meyer Thanks from too. Germany. Thank you so much. And thank you for watching. And you will find other experts as well on the YouTube channel of SAI Conference. And this is the Computing Conference 2017 from London. Bye.